Hey everyone, welcome back to Dragonfly Projects and Homestead. My name is Alex and this coil is giving me problems. Uh, it doesn't flow as well as I would like it to and last time when I tried it, uh, it worked too well. Basically the water in the coil, I tried with water first, started boiling and then the boiling water went all the way back up into my bucket. Who, uh, and the bucket is plastic so I don't want boiling water or sap in the plastic bucket because that's not good. There's also a couple leaks that sprung. I checked online for a better method for soldering copper. I found a better solution. I went back to the store and I found better fitting adapters so I don't have to use an old half inch pipe because from what I'm seeing, the cleaner your pipe, the better the joint. So these were 15 year old copper pipes that had ne never been cleaned before. I also found these brackets that you can use to support stuff on the walls. So my goal is, I bought six of them, basically put them around the pipe, bottom, middle and top to push the coil away from the chimney so it doesn't get as warm. I want the heat to transfer but I don't want it to boil. I want the sap to be pre-warmed when it drips into my pan, not to be boiling. Well, I don't care if it's boiling, but the boiling can go all the way back to my bucket, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the terrible joints I had last time. Um, I am going to save uh, the adapters, though. And then I'm going to unwind the coil a little bit. I'll also get rid of this bend here that's probably obstructing the flow of water. Uh, unwind a couple loops past my brackets and see if I can secure everything nice and tight without touching it directly to the chimney and then hopefully solve our issue and then we'll find a better spot for the evaporator because last time if I kept the garage door all the way up then the smoke would find its way in the garage because our winds here are from the west to the east so I'll try to position the evaporator um, downwind of the garage door so I can leave it open while I'm working and evaporating. All right, let's see if these fixes will work. So this pipe here, when I bought it, it said it's half inch. Um, obviously there's inner diameter and outside diameter. Um, I went to the store and funny enough, a 3 8 coupling actually fits perfectly over this half inch pipe. So I feel like this is closer to 3 8 So I have a 3 8 to half inch adapter that fits nice and snug, that will give me a way better connection. So I am going to save the half inch to half inch copper to half inch threaded uh, brass pipe so that I can keep the garden hose adapter there. So now I'm just going to unsolder what I did yesterday. So for the new setup, I have a, this is a 3 8 to half inch, and then my half inch can go into my half inch, and then I have something that's closer to the garden hose, so that it, this part will thread on better my 3 quarter, basically washing machine hose. And these are all nice fitting, and then this fits perfectly in here. Unwind my coil.
but nothing is touching. So hopefully that means it won't heat up as fast. <laughs> Let's see if we can put those welding skills of mine back to the test. This one's also clean and prepped. We're gonna let that cool down and then try it out. In the meantime, let's position the evaporator in its more permanent position. Ah, what a beautiful rolling boil. I don't know if you can see there in the background, I've got my copper coil just dripping into the pan as I have my rolling boil going. Now the goal is just for the pre-warmed sap to just refill what I lose to evaporation as it goes. So I don't have to stand here all the time and refill it. And I just have to keep an eye on the bucket that's above the door. feeding the warming loop or the copper coil and then I can just go from there. Now I'll play a bit with the distance from the pipe with the copper. Right now the water that's coming out of the copper pipe is definitely not hot. It's not cold. It's like kind of room temperature. I'd like it to be a bit warmer but as you can see I am not losing my rolling boil as I am adding more um, sap. So mission accomplished for what I'm trying to do. I'm happy with the new solder joints. The new joints are working perfectly, much cleaner, much nicer. It's not leaking. I have no drips, no wear, so I'm not losing any sap. And I can just concentrate on feeding this evaporator with wood and making sure it's nice and hot. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.